Hi dear students and viewers, welcome back to our channel and Vinay Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, already one app it is there with the same name and Vinay Kumar Basics of Physics that is available in Google Play Store. If you want to write the online exams, then download the my app and Vinay Kumar Basics of Physics. So dear students, to understand the content, you have to watch the video till end. Then only the complete and concept will be reaches to you. That's why watch the video without any skip up to last. If you are not interested regarding the topic, just leave it. Okay. In this video, we are going to discuss about the speed. What is speed and what is average speed? how the questions will be asked in competitive exams such as MSET, NEET and JE. Let us discuss how many types of questions will be given, what are the formulas we have to remember. All these things are we have to discuss in this video. Clear children, if you are first time watching my channel or app, just download the app and subscribe the YouTube channel. So then obviously it will help to you. After watching the video, if you can feel that it is useful to other students, then keep a like and keep a comment and subscribe channel and share the channel to your friends. Okay, now coming to the point. What is speed and what is average speed? Let's discuss. Here, speed. Speed is nothing but the time rate of distance. Time rate of distance. Of a the time rate of distance of a traveling body body in any direction is called speed is called speed the time rate of distance of a traveling body in any direction is called speed all of you know what is speed speed formula is what speed is equal to distance by time what is speed speed is equal to distance by time so obviously here speed is the scalar speed is a scalar quantity clear and what are the units units are uh, here in cgs in cgs what right here centimeter for second in si kilometer for sorry meter for second meter for second but in case of problems they will give in terms of kilometer for hour kilometer for hour you have to convert the kilometer for hour into meter for second you have to convert clear the conversion of the in numerical problems the values must be given in sometimes given kilometer for hour then you have to change the into the meter per second. Again, if the values are given in the centimeter for in CGS, then you have to convert from CGS to the SI. So here, kilometer per hour, how we can convert into the meter per second. So for kilometer, how many meters? 1000 meters. And for hour, how many seconds? 3600 seconds. So here, 2 5s are, 2 18s are. So 5 by 18 meter per second 1 kilometer for is equal to what 5 by 18 kilometer per second clear so and next thing here what about the speed value speed value is always positive and never be zero because speed is a scalar it has no direction that's why speed should be mentioned as the always positive and it never be zero so this is simply about the speed clear now what is mean by average speed the total distance covered by the body in particular time of interval is called average speed and average speed speed and instantaneous speed all are having the same units and dimension formula so what is mean by instantaneous speed instantaneous speed is nothing but speed of the body at any instant of time is called instantaneous speed for example here this is the 
starting point A and this is the final point B. A body started its motion at the point A and finished at the point B. Clear. Now in this case, it is traveled some 400 meters, 400 meters. Clear. In 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Then what is its average speed? What is its average speed? So average speed is equal to what you can write total distance by time taken. Total distance by time taken. What is total distance by time taken? This is the average speed. Clear? And total distance how much here? 400 meters. And time is 20. So 2 ones are 2 20 is 20 meter per second is the its average speed when the vehicle is started from starting point A to the starting final point B. It's no thing simple thing here. Then what is mean by instantaneous speed? Instantaneous speed means while the car is traveling from A to B. In between these two points within these 20 seconds at any one second it is having some speed that speed is called instantaneous speed what is called in instantaneous speed so dear students here now instantaneous speed instantaneous speed it can be written as like this limit delta t tends to zero delta x by delta t is equals to dx by dt so we can show like this instantaneous speed so already we discussed about the diminishing formulas in previous classes what is mean by diminishing formula of speed speed is equals to what distance by time same thing here distance m2 from 0 l t2 from 0 by here time then what did here m2 for of 0 l t2 for of 0 minus 1 so m2 for of 0 l t inverse 1 it is the dimension formula of speed instantaneous speed and average speed l t inverse 1 is the dimensional formula so dear students here we have few cases for average speed how we can find out the average speed we have different cases are there so this is the case one what we discussed simply here the total distance when in, in any problem he was given the total distance and total time taken then you can easily find out the average speed but we have some different cases are there those are the very very important for the competitive exams so first one here case one it is there case one it is there while the body is in motion first distance is here s1 travel in the time of interval some t1 and next s2 it is what t2 and second th third interval is t3 and distance travel is s3 like that then what right here v average is equal to simply total distance means what s1 plus s2 plus s3 if some more are there we can write plus and so on by t1 plus t2 plus T3 and so on like that that is the first case we have distances travel in the time intervals of t1 t2 t3 and so on what are those s1 s2 s3 s4 and so on like that then the total displacement is nothing but algebraic sum of the individual displacements and total time is the algebraic sum of the individual time intervals so this is the total time and this is the total distance that is the first one and now case 2 in this case any vehicle or any body the first distance should be covered with velocity of v1 with speed of v1 and second one is s2 v2 s3 v3 s4 and v4 like that it is covered s1 distance with speed v1 s2 with v2 s3 v3 and s4 with v4 then what read here v average is equals to same formula total distance covered that is what s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus and so on by time is not given directly but what we know velocity is equals to or 
speed is equals to distance by time we can write distance by time we can write in case of a straight line motion we will considered velocity and speed both are similar that's no problem here so here v is equals to s by t we can write from that what right here t is equals to s by we can write it time is equals to what speed by uh, distance by velocity then obviously here what right what we can write t1 is equals to s1 by v1 and t2 is equals to s2 by v2 and t3 is equals to s3 by v3 like that then substitute here s1 s2 plus s3 and so on by time t1 t2 t3 like that so t1 t2 t3 plus and so on then what we can write children here v average is equals to s1 plus s2 plus and so on by here t1 is what s1 by v1 plus s2 by v2 plus and so on so clear that's why here we have one special case it is there now that is so we have v average is equals to this is another formula s1 plus s2 plus and so on by s1 by v1 plus s2 by v2 plus and so on when he was not mentioned about the regarding the time intervals time intervals clear so s1 plus s2 plus and so on by like this we can write so for example in the above situation if you can take s1 is equals to s2 is equals to s clear then what write here v average is equals to here what we are saying s1 is the same s2 also same that's why here s plus s by here s by v1 plus s by v2 we can write then what write here v average is equals to here s plus s 2s 2s by s is common here 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 then do lcm then here v average is equals to here 2s by s of do lcm here v2 plus v1 by v1 v2 v1 v2 s s cancel then what do you get here v average is equals to 2v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 this is the another formula another formula most important what we are taking here in this case s1 and s2 we are taken both are the similar or equal first of distance is travel with speed of v1 and second of distance travel velocity v2 then which formula we have to use the to find out the average speed then you have to use this formula v average is equals to 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 when we can use that one half of the distance must be covered with velocity v1 and remaining half distance must be covered with velocity v2 then how we can find out the average distance means we can use this one v average is equals to 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 let's see some another case here the same average speed should be in different situation what it is here the case is if the body is moving with velocities or speeds v1 v2 v3 etc in the time of interval t1 t2 t3 and so on clear in the first time of interval that should be having some velocity v1 in the second interval it is having some velocity v2 and it is t3 and it is v3 and so on like that clear so then how we can find out the average speed so what we know average speed is equal to total distance traveled by time taken now but it was not mentioned any s1 s2 s3 like that then how we can write again we have to use the formula speed is equal to distance by time from that what right s is equal to v into t s is equal to what v into t so that's why what right here s1 means v1 t1 and s2 means v2 t2 and s3 means v3 t3 and so on like that that's why here we will write average speed is equal to here s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus and so on by t1 plus t2 plus t3 and so on
now v our x is equals to here s1 is what v1 t1 plus s2 is what v2 t2 plus v3 t3 and so on by t1 plus t2 plus t3 and so on so this is the formula you have to use when it was given only in terms of velocity speeds and time clear so in we have special case here special case that is what if time of interval is same time of interval is same then what right here v average is equal to here v1 plus or v1 t plus v2 t plus v3 t plus and so on by t plus t plus t so then what right here that is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 of t is common here by t plus t plus t plus and so on how equal you can write n t so here t d cancel then what right here v average is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus and so on by n so this is the another formula when it is having equal time of interval but velocities are different then we can use the formula v average is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus and so on by n this is how to remember the uniform motion and what is non uniform motion if the body can covers equal distances in equal intervals of time then the body is said to be in uniform motion if the body can covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time then the body is said to be in non uniform motion let's see here what is uniform motion and what is non uniform motion to understand that simply here we are showing now so here we are showing that these are the time intervals t1 t2 t3 t4 and t5 and so on like that here distance traveled now nothing but this t0 this is what 0 and here 5 10 15 meters all these are meters 20 and 25 meters so this is nothing but s1 or s0 s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 look here what we know the time interval is what here this is the nothing but here simply we are going to take here 0 5 10 15 20 and 25 like that so here time interval is what 5 minus 0 5 minus 0 that is what 5 seconds here how much distance traveled again 5 minus 0 we are saying 5 then average speed is what here first interval distance travel is 5 and time also 5 then what did here 5 by 5 that is what 1 meter per second 1 meter per second the vehicle is going to be move 1 meter in 1 second like that so the vehicle water maybe can take it either it is car anything water maybe clear and second interval is what 10 minus 5 5 and 10 minus 5 here 5 and 15 minus 10 5 here 5 5 5 5 5 fifteen minus 10 5 20 minus 15 5 25 minus 5 as 5 so at every time what we get here average speed is 5 by 5 distance travel is 5 meters time taken 5 seconds 1 meter per second for example if you can like 10 uh, i'm saying now here 0 10 20 30 40 50 this is the okay, now time is again here t0 t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 so 0 5 10 15 20 20 5 look here 5 minus 0 5 seconds 10 minus 0 10 now what is in fast we here 10 by 5 that is what 
2 meter per second like that so this is simply about the uniform motion with the body can covers equal distances in equal intervals of time clear so dear students in case of uniform motion our speed and instantaneous speed both are same clear in case of uniform motion instantaneous speed and average speed both are equal you have to remember that if the body covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time that is called non-uniform motion let's see here again same example we will take so this is t0 this one is t1 t2 t3 and t4 and so on like that so we are saying now 0 here 5 10 seconds 15 seconds and now here 20 seconds here how much time interval is there here 5 minus 0 5 seconds again 10 minus 5 5 seconds 15 minus 10 5 seconds and 20 minus 15 5 seconds so we are taking equal intervals of time equal intervals of time now let's see here some vehicle is there so that will covers initially 0 meters next one is 20 and here 30 80 some 90 meters or 100 meters like 110 meters clear so this is now s1 s2 s3 s4 and s5 here what is the distance travel here 20 minus 0 20 here 30 minus 10 20 10 80 minus 30 50 and 110 minus 80 30 like that so here you can observe here for the first interval average speed what is distance travel here 20 by 5 that is what 4 meter for 4 meter per second in the second interval, second interval 10 by 5 that is what 2 meter per second in the next one here 50 by 5 5 10 meter per second so in this way for every interval we are getting the different kind of average speeds average speeds then it is said to be non-uniform motion in case of non-uniform motion average speed and instantaneous speed both are not equal clear let's discuss one important problem model that should be given in the need 2007 so this is also important for all counter homework exams look here problem is like this a car moves from x to y with uniform speed vu and return to x with a uniform speed vd the average speed for this round trip is a car moves from x to y with a uniform speed vu and return to x with a uniform speed vd the average speed for this round trip is options are given and of vu vd vd by vu vd into vu by vd plus vu and uv plus vd by 2 and 2 vd vu by vd plus vu so already we discussed here distance is the same what you are saying car is start from x to the y so from x to y it was moving with what speed vu vu when it is moving in this direction clear and when it is comes to s v y to x the speed of vd clear v is speed of the car from x to y and from y to x the speed is vd then what is the average speed he was asking so he was not mentioned anything about the time so already we discussed half of the speed with one velocity remaining off with the another velocity then obviously the answer is this one the v2 vd vu by vd plus vu already the starting of this video only we discussed okay let's see here from x to y i am saying now s or s1 and y2 x is also here s2 here s1 is is equals to s2 that is i am taking s the distance from x to y must be equal to the y to x because distance is a scalar quantity we never mention as negative clear that's why here what we take here 
average speed average speed is equals to total distance s1 plus s2 by t1 plus t2 so you are not given anything about the time then what do you write velocity is speed is equals to distance by time time is equals to what s by we can write that's why here t1 is equals to s1 by first velocity is what vu and second velocity second speed is what s2 by vd clear so here speed is what s1 here speed is s2 and in the time t1 that should be moving with speed vu and speed with here v2 vd in the second yes svd that's why here we can write v average is equals to here s1 plus s2 clear so that is i'm going to here s plus s by what is here s by vu plus s by vd then obviously what it is here s plus s 2s 2s s is common here 1 by vu plus 1 by vd clear do lcm s is cancel 2 by vd plus vu by vu into vd then what do you get here v average is equals to here 2 vu vd by vd plus vu this is the answer that's why fourth option is the correct one here let's see one more problem a particle is constrained to move on a straight line path it returns to the stationary point after starting point after 10 seconds the total distance covered by the particle during this time is 30 meters which of the following statements about the motion of the particle is false see once again a particle is constrained to move on a straight line path it returns to the same starting point after 10 seconds the total distance covered by the particle during this time 30 meters which of the following statement is about the motion of the particle is false so four options given among that we have to identify the which is false not true okay first one displacement of the particle is zero average speed of the particle is 3 meter per second and displacement of the particle is 30 meters and both a and b so the given situation is like this a particle is a particle is constrained to move along a straight line path so particle is moving from for example i am saying here this is the a and this is the b it is moving from a to b again it can reach the same starting point a then the total distance covered is how much 30 meters 30 meters it means that a to b 15 meters and b to a also here 15 meters clear so now for that how much time taken time taken was 10 seconds so now average speed what it is total distance is how much 30 meters and time is 10 therefore v average is equals to 3 meter per second so covered so that's why here v average is 3 meter per second what is given our speed of the particle is 3 meter per second so it is a true statement so this is the wrong answer okay and now displacement of the particle is zero as when the motion is started and again that should be reaches to the same point the displacement is zero why because in case of a displacement a to b if you can take plus 15 meters b to a is minus 15 meters in the total displacement is what plus 15 and minus 15 then what it is zero meters that's why here displacement of the particle is also zero this is the right statement so this is also not wrong answer here wrong answer <coughs> and displacement of the particle is 30 meters displacement of the particle is 30 meters just now only we discuss what it is displacement is zero but what you are saying displacement is 30 meters that's why here this is the wrong statement or false statement this false statement is right option for us clear let's see another example problem Abdul while driving to school computes the average speed for his trip to be 20 km per hour on his return trip along the same route there is less traffic and the average speed is 40 km per hour what is the average speed for the Abdul's trip that is the question here Abdul while driving to school computes the average speed is how much 20 km per hour on his return journey along the same route there is no there is less traffic 
and the average speed is 40 km per hour then what is the average speed for the Abdul's total trip that is the question here very simple so just imagine this is the Abdul house and there is the here there is some school it is there this is what school clear so when he was going from home to the school he was maintained speed how much average speed that is what 20 kilometer per hour 20 kilometer per hour and for the time was taken is t1 let and next while he was coming from school to the house he was observed that there is less traffic that's why he was coming with the speed of 40 km per hour 40 km per hour clear for this time the time is we are taking that is t2 then what is the total average speed so what we know v average is equals to total distance total distance by total time taken total time taken so i am going to say that h2 house to the school the distance i am taking here s again from s to h also s total distance what v average is equals to s plus s by t1 plus t2 t1 plus t2 so he was not given any particular time we have to find out the time so what we know v is equals to s by t then t is equals to s by v s by v that's why here v average is equals to 2s by t1 is what s by here i'm going to write t1 is s1 by v1 and t2 is s2 by v2 that is what here s1 is s s2 also s we can take s by what is v1 there 20 and here also s by here it is 40 then what is here 2s by s 1 by 20 plus 1 by 40 then what is here ss cancel we will get that is what here 20 into 40 by 2 into 20 into 40 by what do you have s 40 plus 20 clear then what is here 2 into 40 into 20 by here 60 clear so 0 0 cancel here 2 1s are 2 3s are then what is 80 by 3 80 by 3 so 80 3 2s are 6 and 2 6s are 18 again 6 is 18 like that so obviously you will get 26.67 km per hour we will get so that is the here question so that's why in this we have to in this way we have to do the calculations so dear students i think so this is enough for this video i will upload the previous year questions on the again same topic we will in the next coming days i will going to upload the all the previous year questions of the same topics what we are discussing in these videos clear dear friends if you are if can feel that it is useful or if it is understood then keep a like and keep a comment and share and subscribe our channel and download the, our app also thank you for watching